Hello again. In my hand here is a Fuji uh, battery pack. It's model number NP80 and um, they're used in quite a few old cameras. Um, one of them was a Ryko, um, which um, I featured in one of my earlier videos and uh, also they're in um, Fuji camera as well. The problem with these and the one I'm holding is not an official battery so it's been made quite cheaply and um, I guess it's probably some years old as well which makes it unable to hold any charge so what I thought I'd do is see if I can remanufacture um, the battery by swapping out the inner battery um, with something of a similar size and rating and what I found is um, this battery here now this is an amps plus battery and um, I think they tend to get used in e-cigarettes, if I'm not mistaken. I can't quite remember now. But anyway, um, this is the model number here. Um, I guess it's 18500. Um, so it's exactly the same spec. Well, when I say the same spec, it's, it, it, it says it's rated slightly higher, so 3.7 volts. So um, I don't think that'll make much difference. And um, it's got the same capacity, 1500 mAh. So what I figured I'll do is take apart one of these and uh, here's one I took the cover off as you can see and this is what the original battery looks like so there's a protection circuit here I would imagine um, as part of the charging and here is a metal contact which traces to one of these in here so this is actually um, fixed to the bottom of the battery here and it's not soldered I don't think or if it is it's just um, hopefully I can pick that off without breaking it too much and uh, the other part if I just pull that slightly you can see it inside here so rather than try to bend these contacts and kind of slide the whole thing out um, I'm going to try to take this off in situ um, the other thing I noticed as well is the replacement battery is slightly bigger than the one that's in there I mean you're talking probably a couple of mil um, yeah I don't think it's any more than that um, but hopefully there's enough leeway in the case there to support it. Um, but that's something which I will find later on. The, um, the radius looks identical. So let's have a go at unpicking this and putting a new battery in. So using this sort of probe, um, it's got a very sharp point. I'm gonna to try to get as much of that off as I can. I did, I did try to use a screwdriver, um, but um, I think I'm probably better off doing it like this. So you've got to be a little bit careful, you don't pick yourself. Well, possibly a bit close there to see what I'm doing. There you go. So that's, that's enough. I don't need to worry about the whole thing, as long as it um, obviously reaches part of it, which it will do. Because I believe that's the negative there, so that looks fine. Okay, so that should allow me to get this one a little bit more. So looking in there, it's going to be very similar. Um, let's have a look at that end. Okay, so just got to be careful I don't break it here because um, then it's pretty useless. Although I've got a spare battery I can uh, use if I. Okay error at this stage so, that's, so what I'm doing is I'm just pushing down did it pop Oop, let's have a look is that clear almost it is now okay so there you go so that's the old battery pretty useless this one doesn't actually tell you what's what but um, it's a practically the same battery actually looks it doesn't it and um, I've got enough metal left to just pop that in so that's what I will do it does look like it's slightly bigger and let's see if we can get the, uh, the case on make sure it's the right way It should, it should hold on. Oh, 
Looks like the battery itself might be slightly wider. Here's me saying that they're uh, about the same radius. I think they're a little bit different. It's a shame that's not going to further down. Actually, yeah, can I do that? Try again. So I want it that way around. this tool I should have a proper battery charger for this although you can use the aftermarket kind of multi sort of chargers for this sort of thing but I think it should it should work oh wow that looks all right slightly slightly tight fit but um is there any voltage on there? Okay, so I've got a multimeter now, and uh, I'm going to check this battery. Now, it doesn't appear at the moment to be registering. Yeah, so that's okay. So I think the problem is probably this end. It wasn't making contact for whatever reason. So the positive outcome at the moment is that it is charging with this battery and it's practically the same battery as mentioned earlier so um, it should it should work and hopefully it sh because this is obviously a newly made battery a, a recently manufactured one then I should get plenty of uh, power and I hopefully will be able to use my Ryko camera um, for quite a bit more time than previously without it failing. So um, I'm just gonna leave that on charge now. This is the moment of truth now. The indicator is showing green. It was uh, red and then it went orange for a little while and now it's green. So let's hope there's some power in there. Let's slide that out. It feels a little bit warm. Okay, I've got a couple of cameras here. So these are ones I featured in an earlier video and they are Ryko RDC7 and they are the image capturing device. So I've just charged the battery up and it was on for quite a while. So I'm hoping that this will stay on a little bit longer. So it's been on for quite a while now and that shows that the battery is now working properly. Uh, one of the things to mention is that you're probably better off to use some tape to just make sure that the connection with the two metal contacts, or at least the uh, one on the negative, make sure that that is um, in contact um, and uh, you should be good to go. So uh, yeah, a good result there. Thank you very much for watching and I'll do some more videos in the future. Bye for now.